Hi everyone, uh, this is where I'm at. Uh, thanks to Logan in particular for helping out with the contact for wiring and more recently uh, Ironwood just for helping out with the uh, thought process behind uh, normally open and normally closed uh, additions to the e-stop which I didn't have, it just came with a, a normally closed um, back to the switch. Uh, and it was only because I had a spare uh, switch uh, that I was able to rob this back bottom piece uh, here and just add that to the back of the switch, which is pretty cool with these um, Schneider controls. You can see this is basically what I've robbed, um, this part. And you can see that it's basically like a mini DIN rail and these pieces um, you can just detach and attach as needed to get you the correct uh, sensing, uh, normally closed or normally open. Anyway, that's where I'm at. Uh, Must switch down here, uh, switch that on, it's mains, uh, one single pl um, plug down there, uh, just loosely wired up and badly wired up, you could argue, uh, to the main distribution uh, terminals here. And that, and that feeds through various places uh, to uh, my 24 volt supply, my 12 and 5 volt, and uh, that's on permanently, as well as um, obviously feeding the contactor. Uh, I've got some uh, fuses in there as well. So you can see that um, we have uh, a power status light in effect that's uh, also a system halt, but it also tells me at the same time that there is power connected and that therefore the meter is on. I uh, want to start the machine, I just press, there's another LED here, one more, uh, red, not lit. If I want to start the machine, I uh, effectively power up the motors um, by pressing the green one that might also do the VFD at a later date. And that's great, so uh, I will have a green indicator connected to that one, that's not in the circuit just yet. Um, but then uh, you can see that both red lights have gone out, uh, the contactor you heard clunk and therefore the 48 volt supply is connected to my drivers. So we're all good to go in theory and uh, like I say the VFD would be fed into that as well. So up and running, the machine is capable of uh, doing any tasks and now I wish to uh, complete, I've completed my task and I want to stop the machine, I just press the momentary action uh, red switch here. That red light is once again lit, telling me that there is a stop condition and the system is halted, although we still have power, otherwise it wouldn't be lit. So that's good. And uh, the green light also, uh, as, as I previously mentioned, isn't in the circuit yet, will go out at this point. Um, now, of course, I uh, want to start again, so I press the green go or reset. Off we go, the system is repowered and motors are powered. Our drivers and 48 uh, supplies um, running. And uh, I'm cutting or whatever, I've got an operation. I want you to stop the machine suddenly. I have three or four of these around the machine. I hit the emergency stop, and now you see that both lights um, illuminate now. We've lost power to drivers and the 48 supply, so they've been disconnected by the contactor, which is exactly what we want. And we have an indication to say that the e-stop was the reason for the machine stopping and not a manual stop, or the, the fact that we haven't energized yet. So that's it in a nutshell. Sorry for a slightly lengthy video, but um, thank you for all your help once again. And uh, cheers, good luck for everyone who's building their machines. Thank you.